Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome back to the channel, Stafford Mobile Tires Limited. So, I know I've not posted in a while. I've got to admit, it's been nice just doing the jobs and not videoing. But hey, I've seen a lot of comments up and coming on both of my channels and um, they, they want to see content. So, here we are. Today is Sunday, the something of July, the last Sunday in July, I think. Yeah, there's not 32 days in July, definitely 31. Um, first job and time, we're just uh, just before nine o'clock. First job, we are going to do a live mobile tyre job on the M6 in between junctions 16 and 15 on the southbound. After that, we've got to fit another tyre in Stoke-on-Trent again, which is a rare size, a 265-4520 at a travel lodge, I think it is, ST7 area. After that, we've got another tyre job in Oswestry, um, which is a tyre size 225-5017. And I've also got another job in Stoke-on-Trent, which is somewhere in Stoke. That's all I can remember. I've got all the jobs all booked on. They're all confirmed. They're all paid. Um, and yes, yeah, so we're going to smash out the three jobs in Stoke first. And then after that, we're going to take a nice little steady hour and a half drive to Oslo Street to fit a tyre. But it's in a car park, so it's okay. So, yeah, thank you all for joining the channel. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments that you want to leave, let me know below. And I will endeavour, 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 whatever that word is, to try and reply as best and as quick as I can for you. So, yeah. That's about it for now. Just get on the old motorway at Stafford. And I'm flying off at the speed of sound. And it's a wet one, unfortunately. So I don't know what the footage is going to be like, but hey, all we can do is try our best. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. If you don't, thanks for watching. See you when we get there. Over and out. So we should be passing the customer on the opposite carriageway somewhere on this junction. I don't know exactly where, but we will shortly. As you can see, the visibility is not great. This is probably one of the more danger or more dangerous scenarios when doing a job on the motorway in the very poor visibility. So I will be putting my hoodie on and obviously my high-vis vest. And to be fair, probably the high-vis bottoms as well, which are also waterproof because I've got to be in these clothes for probably the next four hours whilst the jobs are commencing. Um, is that hazard light? Is that an indicator? No indicator. That's about it really. So very, very dangerous doing jobs on the motorway. Don't really enjoy them. If you say you enjoy them, you're probably a little bit wrong in the head. Um, but yeah, someone's got to get the job done and Stafford Mobile Tires Limited will get you up and moving as soon as possible. Just going past Keel Services now. And the next part of the clip, obviously we shall be on scene. I'm probably just going to use a chest cam for this. Obviously the weather is miserable. If I put a camera outside on the ground, it's just going to get absolutely wet and not video anything by the sound. So yeah, let's talk more action and I'll see you when we get there. Over and out. There's our customer, uh, Land Rover Discovery 5 in black and it's a driver's side blowout and the family are outside of the vehicle. Thanks for listening to the advice. Um, Kilo Mike 68, Whiskey Tango yeah. Foxtrot. Kilo Mike 68 and then. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Make a model. Uh, Land Rover Discovery 4 in black. Land Rover Discovery 4 in black. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you have a job reference on your. Uh, no, nothing, no, just the registration. No worries, thanks for that. Cheers, thank you. Bye. Bye. Just putting my PP on now. Okay. Okay. 
Let's get out of here, kids. Yeah. All right, let's go. Morning! <laughs> oh dear me! Wow! All prepared over here! <laughs> oh dear! Right, have you got your little locker? Not wicked, perfect. If you just stay behind that barrier, I'll probably be about 15 minutes tops. And it'll be a little bit noisy in a minute with my compressor. Have you got your key just so I can straighten up the wheel? In it, yeah? I've just started the engine, I've just put the passenger window down a little bit just in case the car locks itself or anything.
lose up. Just checking the other ones. Ooh, the other front one's still got a decent amount of tread on anyway. Just it's normally advised to get your tyres done in pairs on a four-wheel drive vehicle, that's all. Obviously, if you do want a pair, we can fit your pair if you want to, but it's optional to yourself. Absolutely fine. And for future, this stuff never works. Doesn't do a thing, just makes a mess. <laughs> I don't know who found out that it worked, but I've never seen it in 10 years. Do you know what PSI of air you put in your tyres? Hey. Do you know what PSI of air you normally put in your tyres? Uh, right. Even... I'll put... Hey, right. I'll put 38 in. Well, I'll go to 40. If it needs to be any different, just go to like a petrol station. All right. Because <clears throat> you'll probably have to reset the warning light on your dashboard about the flat tyre. Ten and fifteen does not need balancing. I'll come back over to you once it's ready, all right. Get the top bar and get out of here. Whoa, <laughs> oh, lorry ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> the 
is for that. And another one. To put your chairs away, I'm assuming they're yours, isn't they? Uh, <coughs> then we'll get loaded up. Just build up your speed on the hard shoulder first. Indicate right, and when you see a spot, have to rejoin the carriageway. But just be careful of some people coming in on the left as well. No problem, just watch yourself getting in mate, alright. <clears throat> When you're ready mate, just build up your speed on the hard shoulder, then we'll rejoin, just build up your speed, build up your speed. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <coughs> Looks like I've got a gap here. Thank you. Woo! Okay, so that was the job done on the motorway between junction 16 and 15 on the southbound. And we're now going, just going around the Keel Services and going back up to come off at junction 16, a place called Talk Pits, there's a hotel there. Then got a fit of tyre for a lady, a 265 4520, quite a rare tyre size, I must admit. But hey, that's how we're successful. We have the rare tyres in stock, ready to go. Damn. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that video, as you can see, that's like full on POV, point of view, doing a tyre job on the motorway, which is obviously not a pretty place to be at all, especially in these traumatic weather conditions. But luckily, there were a couple of drives in cars, vans and lorries that did slow down and they did move over, so thumbs up for that, absolutely buzzing. Yay! Yeah! Doing this uh, industry and mobile tyres and vehicle recovery. There is a campaign going at the minute to either slow down or move over when you see obviously a vehicle broken down or an incident ahead. It makes perfect sense, it makes our life safer, smoother, and you know you can go back and see your family and your loved ones. Lots of people have unfortunately lost their lives on motorways, carriageways, A roads, B roads, just for simple things of not paying attention on the road. 
um, so you are very very vulnerable but hey that family did right took the advice they were out of their vehicle they were away from traffic behind the metal barriers you know absolutely thumbs up fantastic for doing it some people in this pouring rain the kids will scream cry whatever the adults they'll stay in the vehicle always advised to be out they were well and truly prepared looks like they've been on like, a bit of a camping holiday or something so you know brilliant fantastic fair play right going on to the next job for now see you when we get there thanks for watching if you like what you see like and subscribe over now morning all right <laughs> Oh wow, look at that! My oh my! No problem. Yeah, of course. Normally we tend to have two of, two of each tyre in stock, but because of that size being so rare, you won't sell it every day of the week. No. Literally, so it's that tire is what, probably, it's probably over hundred pounds worth and for us to have it sitting there say for six months or it's a lot of money just to sit there so the rare sizes we do tend to have one of but the more popular sizes we tend to have two of it's just typical you're a customer because most jobs we go to we don't actually try and sell extra tires the reason why because we're a roadside business we're not a company that come out and fit six tires on a car or four we don't that's not us, you know, we're just yeah. emergency. Right, okay. And typically, if we sell you two of them today, guarantee our next job will be that size. Every single time without fail. Every right, time. Okay. So, uh, Greg, maybe might be able to get you one, and then I have to throw it right back to you to put in the other one. Yes, yeah, your best bet is I'll be ringing up first thing in the morning. Yeah. And then uh, see what we can get hold of. Right, okay. So you've got a garage that I can go to physically. But we're roadside, but you might be able to go straight to our wholesaler. And um, we've got a few that we use to staff and soak anyway. So we might just send you straight there and get it fitted. Right, okay. I wouldn't want it to come off. Now, my only advice to you, next time you're travelling somewhere far, go to a tyre shop and get your tyres checked free of charge first. Because, my God, that would have been there. Uh, that's been bad for a long time, that has. Yeah, I um, don't I've got a tire booking for next week, we could have taken it earlier. Joking me. But you I should have, have never travelled on that. Because the problem is in this weather, you slam your brakes on, you're just going to slide. It's literally like a, you just be sliding along. Jeez. Very lucky. Yeah. Oh. I see it every day, you know, people travelling up and down the country and you see things like this, oh my god. I wouldn't even want to go like out of town, you know, with tires like that. Yeah. And it's all very well, you know, you know, with just having a flat tire, you know, ruins, but you know, you could have an accident at the end of the day as well. Yeah, yeah understandable. Well, if we can get you on tomorrow, we will have to do our utmost best to get you on tomorrow. Your money's worth half of them anyway. If you ever had a bad copper with you and you pulled, it'd be three points as well per tyre. So very strong button there. Absolutely. I'll drink that again in a hurry. 
So obviously when you have no tread the water can't go anywhere. And when you've got tread the water can you know disperse off. So simple if you see it and you'll never do it again. And that's the lesson learned. <laughs> Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, it's always jobs to be done. You don't know what tyre pressure you normally go to, do you? Um, 51, yeah? Okay. Yeah, quite a rare size, 2654520. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so I've got to balance it yet anyway. Right, I'm going to save the clips, nearly done, balance it, on, gone, next job stoke, which is a 2454520, the same size as the Land Rover Discovery 4, and then we're going over to Oswald Street, so uh, see you soon, thanks for watching. Right, that is the job done at the Travel Lodge for a 2654520, annoyingly it is such a rare size, I've only ever had one in stock because it's just so rare. Um, pretty pointless sometimes to have two tyres sitting there for like six months, twelve months, whatever. Um, but yeah, that job today, she needed two tyres, so I lost out. However, I've obviously got an account with a wholesaler and I can see that there are two tyres available. So we can obviously get those tomorrow for the lady. And best of all, she actually needs a tyre on the back of the car anyway. So what we'll do with the budget tyre that I fitted today, put the front one on the back axle, that's great. And then obviously she can have a brand new pair of mid-range Cooper tyres fitted tomorrow as well. So that's a job lineup for tomorrow. She needs it. She's from Scotland. She's like five hours away. Job's going to get done. That's that. On my way to my next job now in a place called Small Thorn Stoke-on-Trent. Um, again, the tyre size that I previously mentioned of a 2454520. Same as on the Land Rover this morning. He did not want an upsell. That's fine. Um, and luckily I've got another spare tyre, so I've got two tyres for this lady, so if she does need another one, yes we can get the job done. Right, nine minutes from on scene, thanks for watching. Oh, and before I even say thanks for watching, the tyres on her car, oh my god, they were so bad. If you're travelling from Scotland, you do not drive 
on a bull tire like that so far. And as you understood, she apologised time after time. That's the consequences that you face when you're driving a bull tire that you get stung by me. Back to watching. <laughs> nearly sorted um, does need a second tire in the front not told her yet but I'll tell her in a few moments because it is absolutely crinkled and cracked like no tomorrow so that definitely does need changing and on a four-wheel drive vehicle you're always best get your tires done in pairs but not everybody does it is what it is okay so that is the tire done on the Range Rover Evoke in Stoke on Trent um, the second tire needed changing it was heavily cracked and perished Obviously, I will attach a little photo below, um, but yeah, that was absolutely terrible, um, no words for it, but hey, the customer didn't want to pay to get it changed, she subscribed to a local tyre shop, but if she hits that pothole, what I've just hit, it could cause her tyre to blow out, so it's very important to keep on top of your tyres, and if somebody in the tyre industry is telling you to get your tyres changed, realistically, you get your tyres changed. Right, that is us up, up and away off to Oswald Street we go one hour and ten minutes on the sat nav obviously we're in a breakdown recovery industry if that job was urgent you know you're still attending a job within 60 to 90 minutes if you're available I did take a call just for a job obviously I quoted her a call out fee standard emergency call out 120 quid and then you pay for the tire uh, she already had a quote of 75 pounds not really for me so if you want to pay 75 pounds you go for it and run yourself into the ground. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the show. And I will see you when we get a little bit nearer to Oswald Street. And just to add, I do try and sub out my work sometimes in some places and some areas. Especially Oswald Street because it's my time now travelling all the way there. Um, but hey, I text a few people, rang a few. Nobody answered, nobody replied to my messages, but they read the message. So... <laughs> anyway, stuff and mobile on the way, over and out. <laughs> Next stop, Oswald Street. So, supply and fit one times new mid range tyre 225 4517. What is your first? So, we are not far from the job, we are only 20 minutes away. Putting the old um, Osmo on because I think we've got a nice bit of scenery coming up called the Mia in Ellsmore. Looks like lots of water. So it says on the sat nav, probably behind these trees. 
Yes, water. Ta da! Who doesn't like looking at water? Actually, it was quite busy to be fair. The pub, the boathouse, the brass house. I don't know, had a weird letter in it. Oh, the bath house, yes, very nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, quite tidy if you're not working on a Sunday. Feed the ducks. What more do you want to do, eh? No jokes. You must be quacking up. <laughs> anyway, nearly on scene. Thanks for watching, y'all. Whoa, diesel! 185! That is the cheapest I've seen in a while. £1.85 for diesel. Woo! Big up Elsmere, big up. Wow. Never knew I was just had a castle. Recovery. Hello, mate. Wow. We're eight minutes away. Okay, we're in. So, mate, we're in. Okay, let's get out of here. And we got a tip. I did say nobody insisted. Two, four, six, eight, ten pounds. Thank you very much. Won't say no to that. Right, let's go, man. Okay, YouTubers, hopefully y'all still with me. So now we're currently going out to a Peugeot 306, I think it is. Customers obviously broke down locally. Somebody's gone out to help them out and the tow rope snapped. So gave them two prices and they've obviously bit for our mobile tire van to go out with a straight bar. It is what it is. So it should be on scene in about 10 minutes or so and get it recovered about a mile up the road and jobs are good. And and then we've obviously got the evening rush hour which will soon be approaching it's 10 to 5 10 to 4 10 to 5 10 to 5 that's it if you like what you see like and subscribe thanks for watching Just gonna push it all the way back now. Hey y'all, what's going on? So we went out to put the Peugeot 306 on a straight bar. Only going local, why not? Turns up there, they said the rope snap, that's fine because it's probably out of string, it happens, you know, I see it all the time. But then I get there and the towing eye's bent, but it's not bent left or right, as in when you've steered left or right, or sometimes facing up, with if you've got something higher than the pool, it's facing downhill. So the, the eye's towing eye's like that. Ah. I said, how's that happened? And they're like, I don't know. So, no idea. 
no idea, but I said straight, look, can't, I can't tow this on a straight bar because the end if I put it on my straight bar and the bends like that, you might be pulling it, might pull up, might straighten it, but then it also might snap and then forget it. And then we've got a car rolling wherever it might go. So we're now going out in a Ford Transit Mark 6. A hey, Ford Transit Mark 6, what? A Ford Transit Mark 6 recovery vehicle, which was a vehicle that we acquired quite a bit of time ago as a project. Um, you'd look at this vehicle, you think, oh my God, looks an absolutely million dollars. Well, the answer is yes, it does. But before, hell no. Um, it did not look a million dollars at all in the slightest, at all in the slightest. However, you're seeing it here first. It's going to do a job. You're going to see it do a job and the vehicle's for sale. So if you want to buy it, drop a little comment below. This is a perfectly good little working Ford Transit Mark 6 tilled and slide. So if you want it, get in touch and I will let you know the details. Other than that, this is the end of this clip. Next part of the clip, you're gonna be on the roof and we will be on scene. Thanks for watching. So we're going out to the M6 between Junction 17 and 16 on the southbound. They're on the bridge at Junction 16. It's been an RTC, uh, Sia Leon front end damage. So once that's picked up, we're going straight down to Warsaw at Junction 10 and then see what happens for the rest of Sunday. Thanks for watching. So we're just coming past Junction 16 on the north now. We should at any moment see our customers on the bridge. Our survey says. Still don't see them. Ah, yes, there. There we are. Got the Sea at Leon in white in the front, and then we've got the whatever it is in the back. That'll do, that'll do. So, next part of the fun and games is see who slows down or move over. Will we see any recovery trucks still in lane one going past us? Keep your eyes peeled, and I will see you soon. Back to watching.
Okay, so hopefully you are still with me. It's still Sunday. We're now on half past nine. Um, so we now swap vehicles, we're back in the mobile tyre van, we've got one job at, no we haven't tell now, we've got two jobs at the Shell petrol station in Stafford, both have obviously paid a call out fee, it is what it is, one tyre job is 2257516 for two tyres, the other car is a 2553519 for one, should be on scene in the next five to ten minutes. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have much light to video to be fair but I'll definitely get some pictures and attach them below if you like what you see like and subscribe any questions or comments kindly drop them below thanks are you all right <laughs> These tires, yeah, yeah, I'd assume so. Definitely got some age to them. Yeah. You know, we don't have anything like this going on. What, mobile tire, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're losing legs because it's looking like that where we are. Joking, mate. No. Sounds like a business opportunity to me. Yeah, I'll see when we check in.
Nah, no. no, it's too risky, it's too risky, far too risky. And how dangerous motorways are in night time well, in we Sydney. We were going to avoid the motorway, so I was thinking... And it's like fucking nine worse. hours probably, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. I was thinking if it gets worse, and then we end up fucking stuck on a B road somewhere. Yeah, it's not worth it. Oh, I'm trying to get out of there. What are you going to warn me? You've got to put your fucking phone in the dock. Yeah, this is probably shot. Shot fired. Hello, all. So, little update. We're now on 10 past 11. Finished the two jobs at Stafford Petrol Station. Just about to go to get me dinner. Took a call for a job in Stoke on Trent. A Stoke on Trent to Stoke on Trent for a small smart car. Go in about 10 minutes. Uh, booked it on. Took payment. Tried to subcontract the job out. Can you sub a job out at 11 o'clock at night in Stoke? Absolutely not. Nobody's interested. Oh, hey, mate. I've had a drink. It's the weekend. Or. Welcome to the Vodafone messaging, welcome to GiftCap, welcome to EE. Voicemail, voicemail, ring out, ring out. And uh, the other one, no, we're too busy tonight. What the hell is going on? I'm, I, I've got no words. So we're going to get his job done and then go get some dinner, go to bed, and then we've got Manic Monday in like six hours. It is what it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Over and out.